Hello and welcome to another gameplay review on the Vakayu Gameplay Channel. And in this one, we finally have Twitch Jungle. Now, it's not really been a thing for quite a few years, although we have a million point mastery Twitch in Master, and we're going to see why and how he's using this champion to perfection. And by perfection, I mean, you're going to do all the things that are good for the champion for jungling, but your laners, they're not really going to help out. He is by far going to be the carry machine in this game. We are against their Warwick, and as most of you know, as Warwick players, we like to face Twitch jungle because our W passive lets us actually see him, CC him, chase him down, and use our E to absorb his E. Now, the problem is, that's not going to happen in this game, so let's see what we're going to do. Ruins on your screen now, Halo of Blades Gaming, that's what we want to do. The whole question about Twitch jungle is, much like Destiny, he will arrive, it's just where is he going to arrive, mid lane, bot lane, or top lane? And you see, this is a crucial thing here. You place this ward, right? And now you can see where that ward is placed. And he likes to do that because when you're trying to cheese someone and you're going to go camouflage, you really need to make sure that they don't see you. Otherwise, you're losing the whole element of surprise. So he places that down, stops versus any, you know, late invades, but also to see who wards and where. So now we know we cannot go through this direction to gank level two because, again, you want to gank level two. You're not going to outfarm anybody. If you're trying to do a full clear, you're most likely 99.999% going to just die and not have any impact. So we can either cheese this on the bottom lane, although in this particular lane with Gian Valkaz, that's not really recommended. We could go ahead and go mid lane, still on Akali, and she would see us. You could loop around the top, definitely. But if we are using our F keys, we see Urgot is going Giga Ham onto the Kled. We're trying to burn that down as soon as possible. Here we go. Q activation, and off we go. Ladies and gentlemen, use your uh, ranged auto attacks. Make sure you burn their flash. You can definitely flash. Use your E. Poison plus red equals first blood. It's really that easy. Camouflage into a lane. Make sure you camouflage with enough runtime. And then use your ranged Evelyn-ness to make sure you get that first blood. And it's hilarious. It's hilarious because it always works. Yes, sometimes laners will be disciplined. But you, if you're a Shaka main, if you're a Twitch main, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. You will always find a way to get the cheese off. Now, Warwick in the meantime will feel a little bit of catch-up necessary. He could look to invade here, which is probably which probably would have been a better move, honestly. I don't know why he's just trying to go for this, but at the same time, you see, we see him ward in. Uh, sorry, walk in through the ward. He gets trapped now, but has rotated. We get the fear off and he will escape. This is where Warwick having the scanner early is crucial, and you want to scan on your approach if you're going to invade the Twitch in that arena. You must, all right? If you're going to play versus Twitch, you must do that. Twitch just needs to see stuff. You just need to see stuff. And here we could do Gromp, I suppose, but he just wants to make sure he eats this because this will give him three. That's what we really want in this particular situation. We see Warwick now go to the bottom side. He's already been moved, and he had 12 CS, right? So you can now fall back to your Gromp safely knowing Warwick is not going to come and invade you in your jungle. Things you need to think about. Now, what's the crucial thing about jungling that I always like to bring forth to you? Ah, oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit painful. Um, camp a lane. Make sure you move into a lane and you give someone depression. You make them miserable. They're not near you west high elo. That's easy to do. Look at this. See? That's it. That's all you're trying to do. And if you're a good jungler, ganking jungler, this is what you should be doing anyway. It's particularly if, you know, you've got here the Urgot with his nice atomization spike already. The ability to shove this and still TP back in, whereas Kled does not have that. So we have great denial here. In the meantime, we have bot lane looking like it's, you know, bot lane. We're not really not really we're not concerned about that at all. We are camping top lane this game. And top lane's a very good lane to to camp, especially as a Twitch, because the enemy jungle is gonna be forced to rotate. You think Urgot's greeting a little bit. You see the pings coming through on the map. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There he is. And here the Warwick shows up. So that's not good, but from a Twitch perspective, that's fine. You could stay and hit a plate with him, maybe, but you know, you don't want to lose. <laughs> I, I get it. From a top lane perspective, from a jungle perspective, I really want to go back to base, get my new quiver, get back on the map. We are not concerned about this. We are concerned about our blue side. And so we're going to move into the blue side of the jungle. Again, replay issues, freezing. Um, at this point, you know, you got a level 1 wolf camp, you got a level 1 grump camp. You don't have any camps uh, off the map that you could have and should have secured. The grump is a bit of an unfortunate situation with the poison reset. Kite it out, make sure you go and do that now. The new quiver will help you greatly. You know the warwick here, we see the ping. And this is where visual confirm is so important because you don't always know exactly where people are going to go. And with Twitch jungle, the, the goal is not to walk into a meta jungle and try and kill them. It's to, to tilt a lane, feast off of the lane, use your lane ganks with your Q, and just to practice avoidance. So anytime you can know, know where the enemy jungler is, that's perfect for us. Here we go. Let me give you a better camera vision. 
Uh, Clud thinks he might be safe this time. Okay, there's a huge mini wave at this point, and the Clud now does have um, his um, bicycle ready to go. Oh, he hits the rope. He hits the rope, and he gets the tug. That's not good. So, don't overcommit either. This is a typical thing for junglers also. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I love investing so much time into a lane. Okay, we were lucky there. And then bad things happen. So, work in the meantime is level 5. He's going to try something in the mid lane here with the Akali. Twitch out of base. Um, you, you, when you see this, at this point, this is unfortunate. Obviously, you got to be very, very wary of things like Kled for turnability. Alawi, Renekton, and so on. Um, we're going to queue into this wave. We know Warwick is in the area. Akali will... Okay, we put the zoning W. Rod rotates from this particular side. Nice stun, but Valk has, has roamed as well. Akali's going to go back in. She will die. Nice run by the uh, red team's bottom lane. Ezreal's bottom lane as well, so they have numbers advantage. So that death, while unfortunate, still fine. One for one. And you're thinking now, well, 3 2 0, 23 CS. Yeah, but that doesn't matter, right? It's much like how you would play Talon when Talon couldn't farm. Uh, and I covered this on the main channel quite extensively. You're, you're just looking to snowball. You're just looking to snowball your, 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 your gold and your items. Notice this ward here, this is crucial. Okay, Valkaz and Warwick are stealing this. Don't die on these. Okay, you do have to be careful. Now the top death is a bit of an overcommit. The mid death is because of bot roam. You see here, are they actually gonna just give this up here? Warwick doesn't have smite, so maybe that they're just thinking it's not worth the E pull because Twitch will be able to get that, obviously we're maxing E. Um, okay, so don't die for it, but if you can use your ranged component to snack it, snack it. Move on up, finally we get to take our Raptors, and we will have this top side respawning as well. This is all Deep Fog of War, Kali Maya, Mega Pings, this is a concern. You don't want to go here. So again, you're practicing avoidance, maximizing your experience on those camps that you can take very, very quickly. Um, we do need to finish our smite quest pretty soon. Kali actually moved to the top lane, so let's go for this. If we're fed and we can have a 2v2, let's do it. But don't do it before you've done the grump. You really, really want to try and get the grump first because you will be six. So it's a little greedy for sure, and you're kind of selling out your top laner, but the ult here is going to give us two kills, hopefully, and obviously on the timeline you can you can cheat, but that's what's going through my mind as well. Use a camera, hold a little bit. Here we go, chug the W. We burn his flash, and we can pay and spray, or rat a tat tat uh, whatever you'd like to call it. Akali yeets in, doesn't realize the poison is strong, and then dies. Um, at this point, you have to watch for the Warwick, because if you don't see the Warwick for a while, then, you know, you're worried about that blood trail, and you'll just absolutely be snacked for lunch. As soon as you do see him, you can fall back to your jungle. This is a typical off-meta play. You don't have to be sort of twitch for this. This is anything that's squishy versus meta champions. I don't know why Warwick or how Warwick is dying, but he is. Um, as soon as you see them, you can fall back into your jungle and you can you can be super safe. So we're five out of six kills. So the one death unfortunate, the uh, other death, a eh, little bit of an overcommit, but we're still doing all the work. You know, Ezreal's just existing, which, what more can you expect from Ezreal? Uh, ignore the minimap there. If it's throwing you off, it's because it's just a glitch in the replay system, which is good because you should be thinking about this and realize that the red isn't actually available because we still have it and we just took it. Right. Can we look to gank another lane now? We have feasted on top lane, fortunately. Akali tried to make that impact. How else can we cheese this victory away? Let's have a look here. Definitely, I like backing here just to observe. You know, if they overstay here, if they don't have, you know, they might have deep vision. Let's have a look. No, they don't. Yeah. You, you never know with the roams. Warwick's going top lane as well. This dude's low. I mean, despite the attention there, this is crucial though. If you F key and you're clicking around, just staring at the minimap, it's important to track where the Warwick is going to be. Because you need to know, obviously, obviously you're not going to have um, Dragon and uh, Herald prior over something like that. But we can definitely 2v2 and keep our distance and counter gank and link gank. You're seeing how to do it here, even in high elo. You just have to be more conservative about your prior thing. And in low elo, what will happen is you'll typically just try and do normal jungle things, and you can't. See, at this point, Clud is... <laughs> he's like, alright, dude, for the 50th time, I get it. Um... You see the pings going forward here, you're going to lose the Herald, unfortunately. See the main channel video, I talk very extensively about Herald versus Dragon. So you might be thinking, well, why hasn't Warwick done the Dragon? I, we, I talk about that, the first Herald is definitely a, a bigger focus. But this is a bit greedy. We know he was here, so where, where else would the Twitch be going? This is just greedy by the club. We have the Bard rotating up as well, if you're looking at the minimap. Um, suppression, okay, that's interesting interaction from the Warwick Leap Q. Um, he, of course, can press the W button and see you, so you've got to be... You know. Careful, but <laughs> the, the, the E pull just does so much damage. Uh, obviously not the same as if, if 
he was building that AP, which is always what frightens you, but either way. Nice counter gank again, you see. Ooh, even in Master Tier, right? Even in Master Tier, what's gonna happen is they will disrespect you as a jungler. They will disrespect the safe play. And if you can play safely, and this is kind of like umbrella jungling, right? You know, we're ahead in gold for sure, and we're gonna try and snowball this as Twitch, but you're playing the lanes, right? You're playing the lanes like this. You're not walking through the rivers. You're just skirting the edges the whole time, taking whatever camps you can safely, like an umbrella. Um, I've spoken about that a lot of my content, just to make sure that you can actually uh, secure whatever camps are necessary, and obviously cheese with the lane gangs. And that's the beauty. Things like Scion too, if you're having a rough game, you can just ult Rengar also. Um, that's, I wouldn't, you know, it's a Twitch. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Evelyn effect is an effect, except more range. So don't have to actually get close. Then there's a bit more, a bit less giveaway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And minions don't stop our backs. Big positive, right. Kraken Slayer is finished, by the way. Next, we will go Blade of the Ruined King. Um, for the Warwick and the Kled, that will be absolutely huge. Those are definitely two huge threats. Um, it will also do a little bit of work on anything that has HP. Although, obviously, a counter to, to HP damages is obviously shields and resistances. So you have to, if you're a tank, itemize appropriately. Don't build 10,000 HP if everyone has Bork in his vein. You know what I mean? Okay. Here we go. Movement in the river. They know that we saw everything. He activates a Herald a little bit too far away, so it's a really horrific Herald usage especially if he didn't have to use it. Now we can hit the eyeball and smite it and lose it. So that Warwick did not watch the main channel video. I can tell you that. That's a waste of a huge infusion of gold, and he is not impacting the map whatsoever. We're not talking about it from Warwick's perspective, but he is... I am disappointed. I love facing Twitches. Uh, usually I would pick a, a Rek'Sai. Um, even, I think it was two years ago. There was a video on the, my main channel, how to beat 80%, 90% win rate Smurfs. And that, at the time I was playing with my friend, and we ran into these, just I was on a smurf, we were just playing, you know, regular games, low diamond, high platinum. And uh, what happened was there was a 90% win rate smurf Twitch jungle. So I decided, okay, you know, I'm not going to play Zyra jungle this game. I'm going to yeet in with Rek'Sai. And you can absolutely do great work if you're just playing at the same level, you know. So obviously, here, they are of the same level. There's no smurf queue or whatnot. Definitely with Rek'Sai, Warwick, you should be able to do enough work. But here's very important. So while Warwick will be able to now try and force more action with his CC and his ganks, um, you can just push towers. And that's absolutely huge here. Victories, tower damage, big. Even if you don't have Herald, you can still get plates pre-14. You can still do a lot of damage. Watch that, be very, very cautious. Valkaz Gaming, guys. Valkaz Gaming. Yeah, so that, you know, I like facing Twitch jungle. I have no issue versus it, but if it plays well like this, and skirts these edges and kind of stays out of your way, it's very, very difficult to contain. Especially if you, as a Twitch, know what you're doing, and you do succeed level one. Now, from this, we've pushed the tower, we let Warwick do his business, high variance ganking, we take guaranteed cash money from plates, from tower damage, we fall back to our blue side. If he wants to take a dragon, he can take a dragon. Echo's base, Urgot is taking the top side there, five plates for him, and obviously we have now um, the bard roaming, Ezra needs the base, just farm. It's okay to give an objective if you're farming cams. Because think about it, he's going to spend all this time investing in vision control, wondering if you're going to show up, wondering where everyone else is, doing the dragon, and you've just taken four camps. And now you're level 11, he's level 9, and the subsequent fight will go in your favor. So that's worth thinking about as well. Full-on assassino mode. Mega probing. Okay, this is going to crash a little bit, so he's going to have a look here. Now, because we've elevated the game state through that attention top lane, Urgot, still <laughs> leveled out on us, can roam. Kill decided to actually roam as well. Um... He is level 8, which is unfortunate. And again, Twitch is not roaming to this. There's no concerns. He knows his team is primed and can make these differences. He does not need to rotate to these. He can go take towers. Huge. So you're not spot pushing, but you're definitely trying to push that mid tower down as well. So now we can collapse. Look, we have numbers advantage. Here's Valkaz caught napping in the bush. If you don't have a mid tower or you lost a mid tower as the red team here, don't, don't back here. That's silly. But as Twitch, punish. Always mm, punish, punish, punish. And now we can push the map into their jungle, and this is where the fun begins. So, you had your cheese level 1, uh, sorry, level 2. You decided to repeat gank a particular lane, in this case top lane. We knew we were giving up ob objectives, don't really care. If you can take a Herald freely, do so. I mean, that depends on your game state, but obviously don't, as Twitch, waste your time doing that uh, if you are going to die for it. 
Because of this, we get multiple plates, we shadow multiple lanes, we take the camps we can, and now we're hitting towers and full on tilt mode is activated. And that's what you're looking for. You need to make someone in your elo 272. Ideally 070 if you don't die to him. Um, that's what you're looking to do as Twitch. And that's why we like to do it because tilt component is huge and you can absolutely guarantee someone on your team gets fed. And in low elo, you know what? They're not going to know what to do with it. But everyone will be stat checking. And don't you want your team to be the one to stat check? I think we do. So bounties are activated. Do have to be cautious here. We have a huge gold lead, but it's very much into the Twitch. You see there, the 8,300. He's 3k ahead of the, of the, uh, hold on. Evelyn mode, camera mode, assassin. Why would you path there? But if they're going to do that in high elo, then they're doing that everywhere. So stop farming. Go look for some assassinations because then you can push the wave again. You can cheese again. Look at this again. You see this? Look at this, in and out, in and out, in and out, push the wave, hit the tower, push the wave, hit the tower. 118 CS, most on his team, while having 11 or 15 KP. And the only reason he doesn't have high KP is because he decided not to rotate to those particular fights that were happening over here and so on. He just decided to push towers, because you can do that. That's what AD carries are for, I'm sorry, AD carries. You are so weak and hit towers, but now you're the assassin, the objective controller, and the tower hitter. Don't overcommit here, definitely back off. We do have pressure here, we could parallel, but because Echo's taking Krugs instead of pushing this for some particular reason, and because he's taking the Gromp instead of helping, like, what are you guys doing? It's not difficult. If you have a split push, parallel guys, parallel. Force them to make difficult decisions and then rotate together, but because they didn't, now we have to disengage, but again, he didn't die and then blame his team. He just disengaged because he couldn't fight it. All right, here we go. We were gonna base, but we see this overcommit and engage. Echo's on the bottom side. See if he uses his TP. Warwick goes for it. Bard ult is activated. Oh, and Chokehold versus Twitch. Red attack, tat. I mean, we all knew he was going to die to the Warwick, but we'll take that win. And now the Echo is finally pushing. But if he was pushing in the first place, he'd already be here. So that's a little salty about that uh, bad decision on his part. But hey, Akali's running around. I mean, he could TP, but I think at this point, no point. Because War Urgard is going to you know, shit stomp this fight, we can go get towers, perfect, no need to TP whatsoever, steal the raptors, very, very good. So, you know, while the Twitch didn't rotate in one scenarios, you look, you see, okay, I'm not needed, I can take tower, now once I've taken the tower, I can collapse, I can take this stuff, same thing here, I can go Q, assassinate, look again, nothing, okay, push, take the tower, disengage, um, and if you see a fight as you're backing, make sure you rotate to it, because you are the Fed member, I mean, no one else on this team, again, Match history links will be in the description. Um, we'll do damage. Twitch is the only one that's doing damage in this particular scenario. I mean, oh God does do damage and he has done a good job, but he's only 11 of 18, you know. Sorry, 9 of 18, good grief. <laughs> Too much work today. Math is hard sometimes. Which I probably shouldn't say, given my, my degree background, but I'm sleepy. Leave me alone. Okay, three levels up, assassination on the bottom lane. We have Ogre pushing top lane. That is a dead... <laughs> I mean, if you execute properly and you have good, uh, you know, um, space gliding mechanics, you'll have no issue climbing with this and through cheese. I mean, there's through cheese, but hopefully you can see, and that's why I've been highlighting this whole video, a jungle fundamentals, a map fundamentals. Look at the tower pushing. Now we can kite in here. I mean, if it's looking doomed, don't overcommit, obviously. Don't get yeeted there. Um, if your team overcommits and dies, overcommit and die. Why should we die with them? Just wait. Wait. Patience. You're an assassin, effectively. Um, but that's why I've been really focusing heavily on the jungle fundamentals, you know? So yeah, you're cheesing 100%, but at the same time, if you combine that with good jungling, unstoppable. And again, restraint, you know, give him this, who cares? Urgot's forcing two top lane, you could do this, there's no point. Um, because as soon as you do that, you're collapsed on and you're dead. I mean, you're still squishy marksman at the end of the day. And Warwick can do a lot of damage to you. I know, because I always pick it into Twitch. If I see Twitch, I'll pick a Warwick or Rek'Sai. I don't care if it's ADC, I don't care if it's top lane or jungle. Support's actually the most annoying. Support Twitch is the most annoying because he really has no rules. <laughs> he just AP Twitch, there's no rules whatsoever. Whatsoever, no rules. Um, he can just literally run around like an absolute lunatic and, and pretty much you're kind of hoping your support knows what to do in the 2v1 lane. You're kind of hoping your support knows what to do here. We do have Hurricane, which means we can now definitely, definitely 
dish it out a lot of damage with our ultimate. And also Hurricane in general, I'm not seeing a lot of it, but with things like Kindred, it's just great for AoE team fighting and wave clearing, especially if you have low wave clear on a team and you're behind. That kind of aspect is nice too, but for Twitch is kind of synonymous with let's go baby, team fighting. All right, three levels down. Valkars again out of position. Man, being, being a Zyra or Valkars, where are you going? Being a Zyra or Valkars versus a uh, fair Twitch jungle? Again, these vests, man, what's going on? <laughs> I keep tugging at them, it's, they're irrit irritating me. I think it's the same one. I washed it in now, I gotta chuck it. I gotta chuck it. It's been bent in the wash. It's unfortunate. I have so many. I know it looks like I wear the same, but I don't. I just have a lot. Because um, I wear everything when I go out and stuff, but when I do weights and then record these, I'm obviously not wearing t-shirts. Um, okay. <laughs> Space gliding? Not really, but... Akali, what's next? Back into Q. See ya. She uses Protobot. Doesn't really matter. Keep that spacing. Keep that spacing. Ogot hits the slow. He can go in there. And now we can finish her off. Get a low and execute it. Good night, Akali. Always good to see uh, a dead Akali. So there was this ex exquisite, um, exquisitely hilarious Twitch meme from last year. I can't remember. But there's a Twitch basically kajillion attack speed per second kiting it. And then the Nasus just walks up and bonks him. I really need to find that again. Really, really funny. So again, though, let Ogre do the split push and apply the pressure. He's got the Hellbreaker, great item. He's got the Titanic Hydro. He's going to be able to do his work. Um, just don't die. And we're just worried about the Warwick chasing us down. So this is fine. We'll take this. Busted open an inhib. He could die for this, but let's actually have a look. You always see... Th yeah, he should die for this. <laughs> but what, what damage can he do in the meantime? None, apparently. So that's a shutdown, but we'll take it. Baron is available now. Don't force it. Dragon again. Is Dragon an issue? Are you guys really losing this game because you didn't get Dragons on the off-meta jungler? No. That's why if you have prior mid or top lane, use it for the Herald instead. Infuse yourself with those cash monies with that gold. And you'll have way more fun. You'll have way more fun using that to basically open their map for business, as I said in the video. Ezra ult goes through. Um, there we go. Finally. Like you hit and then you see Twitch in the bottom lane here. Just absolutely frame edge work use your range and get the kill it's really easy when they just run it down mid and they just miss position but push the map that's all we're looking to do here i mean this is still losable i mean they're 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 up a hell of a lot of gold but i think we can all agree that outside of the ogot the echo and the ezreal eh, you know they do one stupid thing you could be in a rough situation don't be picked off though stay back line keep your spacing Always, always crucial as an ADC. Typical ADC, hit what's in front of you. Don't get too obsessed about hitting something in the back line and walking through like a warg. Um, he starts it off. Team has no interest whatsoever. Oh God, is again going bottom lane here. We have Jin ulting. Echo's moving out of the frame. The Echo ults. The warg's ult again. Which is <laughs> just letting him do business. He's just knocking. He's waiting for the uh, spray and fray. I sure keep saying rat -a -tad, don't I? I'm sure most of you are still saying that, right? The OGs, everyone's saying rat -a -tat, tat Again, push this out, which is good. Now they're forced to respond. If you have more cash monies to go get some more items, do so. We have sword and a pickaxe. All right, we're going to start to hurt now. Right. Dragon is up. So, if you're in a bit more of a neutral game, all right, take your red. Definitely want to make sure we get that dragon. We don't want to get into a situation where a soul and elder become things we have to deal with, okay? We were happy to give them two dragons if we can get a herald, um... But you want to push the map such that you don't actually force Dragon Soul to even be a remote win condition. Ah, that's going to be... Excuse me. Talking general jungling. All right, let's just st stick on the Twitch for a second. So works on the top side of Carl is dealing with the bottom wave. Uh, Urgot obviously has unleashed uh, Teleport. This hits the Jin. Now, Clyde's on the back side. <laughs> Completely separated from his team. Twitch wants to avoid the uh, Valkaz's Sushi ultimate. Warwick is just going to face check for some reason into a ranged Twitch jungle without vision and then get kited and killed. I mean, if that's what you want to do. TB from Echo and they can probably finish this off. Twitch can try and stop the ports, stop the ports, but no need. 18-3-4. We did our job. Backline damage. Look at the match history for all of that. And in the event your team doesn't have TP and tries to, you know, close here, you can, of course, just queue down the mid, run it down E-West style, kill them and hit the Nexus yourself. You can definitely do that. So, Twitch jungle does work in high elo. Be a little bit careful about how you're looking at the game. Warwick obviously played badly, but, I mean, 
if you're comparing this Warwick to, to a diamond, platinum, gold, silver, whatever Warwick, then it's still better. So if he can do this, you can do this. And that's why he plays Twitch Jungle in Master Tier on EU West. That should about do it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, share, and comment if you enjoyed and learned something. Match history again in the description below. Coaching, VODs, and coaching signups are available on Patreon. And as always, I will see you all in the next tutorial.